all the hard work and the support that we have provided for our candidates, the candidate of People's Democratic Party, Eita Ejegede, SAN, who will help us reclaim Undo, comes down to one date, and that is Saturday, 10-10-2020. However, it has come to our notice that the people of Ondo State will not be getting free and fair elections if the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, as presently composed, will be overseeing the elections in Ondo State. We are speaking in particular about the appointment of Professor Eyitope Ogumbo Enro Ogumbo Dede, the Vice Chancellor of Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, as the Chief Returning Officer of the Ondo State Governorship election. The PDP <coughs> totally rejects Professor Eyitope Eyito Ogumbo Enro Ogumbo Dede acting as the Chief Returning Officer. The reasons are very clear. He is a known crony of the current governor of uh, Ondo State, who is also the candidate of uh, uh, APC, uh, Governor Ruti Miyakere Dolu, SAN. He hails from Owo, the same hometown as uh, the candidate of uh, APC. So he cannot be a fair party in the proceedings by virtue of uh, their association. We also want to state that Professor A.S. Bamire, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic of the Obafemi Awolowo University, Leife, who conducted the training of returning officers, is not a neutral party for the purposes of this election. So we therefore call on INEC to stay true to their name and replace Professor Yitope Ogunbuenro Ogunbo Dede with a disinterested party. The chief returning officer should have no affiliations with any of the participating parties in the uh, elections. We also take this opportunity to call on all lovers of democracy around the world to pay attention to what the APC-led administration in the center is trying to do in Ondo State. We call on the United Nations, the European Union, the United States, and the United Kingdom, and indeed all allies of democracy, to call uh, INEC to order. We're compiling the names of uh, people involved in there, and I believe they will be, uh, those uh, people will be good candidates, you know, for the visa ban, because if they try to rig this election and they stay here with us, uh, then we will uh, reach out to them after the election to either say uh, uh, thank you or show them what it is uh, uh, if you allow yourselves to be used, you know, to deny the people of Ondo State uh, 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 a free will to choose uh, their leader. Well, we call on all security agencies in Ondo State also not to allow themselves to be used as a tool against the will of the people. We, so far, they have done very well. So we take this opportunity to commend them for what they have done so far. Uh, but we still have uh, a long way to go. They've done far, but until we see to the end of this process uh, uh, and a governor-elect is uh, declared, uh, it is going to be eternal vigilance for us. So we urge the security agencies to still do more. Please don't forget that history and posterity have never been kind to anyone who allowed themselves to be used as a tool for injustice. We urge uh, our security agencies to read the mood of the people and act accordingly. Well, politicians, uh, armed one, will come and go. Uh, 
but the people will always remain, and our state and our country will remain. And everyone should remember uh, the world is uh, uh, watching us. So I thank you all for, uh, for listening. And if uh, uh, you have any uh, questions, I will uh, take it. If there are no questions, then uh, 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 this will be it. <clears throat> uh, I, I forgot to introduce the members of the campaign council that have said His Excellency. Uh, we have uh, Erewa, Prince Erewa, and we have uh, a distinguished uh, Senator Dino Menaye. We have the National Organizing Secretary, Colonel Austin Akobumi. We have uh, the National Financial Secretary and Secretary of the campaign council, Honorable Abdullah Nebasira. We have the National Woman Leader. We have, uh, I'm also a member of the campaign council. Yes, yeah, Senator Oseagwala. Oseagwala. Yeah. So if you have any questions, uh, I will take them on. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. My, my question is in two parts. The first thing that um, you raised a big question on. You raised a big question as to the integrity of. Uh, the returning officer. For those of us who follow elections and election coverage, one would wonder what the role of a chief returning officer who would not have anything to do with the result until they lay before him at the moment of announcement. What exactly is your fear or concern as to the chief returning officer, not the coalition officer, not the electoral officer at the local government areas? Uh, it does look like uh, you're raising a big question on integrity. You've raised the security operatives, mm -hmm. but you, it does mean that you seem to have a problem with INEC. Is there a major problem with the integrity of INEC in this election? Well, <clears throat> there are further information. For instance, we do know that uh, uh, Governor Kerry Dole is from Owo. Governor Kerry Dole is from uh, Owo. Why do you need a chief uh, returning officer who is also from Owo and who is uh, a known uh, uh, crony of uh, Governor Kerry Dolu? And my other question is, uh, uh, are there no other universities in Nigeria where you can get uh, somebody that is uh, uh, disinterested who does not have a vested interest in this process? So I next should uh, go ahead and look for someone else. Um, he may not do anything, but know that once the uh, chief returning officer makes a pronouncement, then the next thing is you have to go to a tribunal. We don't want to go to a tribunal. We don't want uh, the people of uh, uh, those states to be cheated. That's why we're saying to INEC that please go ahead and look for a returning officer that is neutral, that does not have any affiliation whatsoever with any of the uh, uh, candidates. So, yes, I said, the second part I was going to make the fact that uh, how, are you, how did you know who the chief returning officer is? Officially, Alec has not announced it. Then, secondly, you said he's a crony of the governor. How, what do you term crony? Because if I'm from the same town or local government area with somebody, does that take my integrity to do my job professionally? Okay, well, I studied uh, biology in uh, uh, secondary school. For biology practical, once they start uh, telling students to bring tomato to school, or bring lizard, or bring uh, anything, you know the questions that will come out in that uh, uh, practical exam. So, uh, INEC have been training the people that they will use. And uh, Professor Bamire, the deputy VC, uh, has been the one conducting the uh, training. We don't mind. But we don't want people that will go out there and just uh, make pronouncements and then they will say uh, the rest is uh, go to the tribunal. No, we will not uh, accept it. We don't want uh, the people of Ondo State to be uh, cheated in this, uh, uh, in this uh, election. And then uh, if you say uh, uh, somebody is a crony, yeah, it's not only that they are from... Uh, uh, the same time, the uh, technical uh, advisor to uh, the uh, INEC uh, uh, chairman, uh, 
Professor uh, Bolade uh, Eyinla. We know that his wife has a relationship with uh, uh, Professor uh, uh, Gumbo Dede. So, all we're saying is, please decouple all of these things. We're watching, and we will say to the world, you know, uh, the way it is. Beyond this press conference, have you been meeting to INEC to, to, to raise this concern? Well, we are writing to them, but this is the fastest uh, means, you know, because uh, uh, INEC uh, chairman will also be watching, the entire world also will be watching. Uh, AIT is worldwide. Channels is worldwide. So the entire world is uh, uh, watching as we're speaking right now. So if they are waiting for official letter, we're running out of time. Uh, uh, by this time uh, uh, tonight, that will be the end of a uh, 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 campaign. And then uh, uh, by this time tomorrow, there will be no movement. The process uh, uh, will have uh, been underway. So we don't have that time to uh, keep sending uh, letters to Abuja waiting for a response. We will write officially, but at this stage, um, uh, uh, they need to address uh, 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 our concerns. Uh, yes, Tell me, from TVC News. Uh, sir, these uh, allegations around cast aspersion on the integrity of the training It's not an allegation. I mean, for what we're saying is Nigeria has, uh, I mean, how many professors? How many universities? Why do you have to go to uh, somebody that is known to have been from a war, the same uh, uh, hometown as the uh, candidate of the uh, APC? Okay, my question now is that, are you not worried that it might take a toll on the psyche of um, the voters? Because coming from you, from the campaign council, people might just say, what's the need of going to cast um, their vote? Because even reports now show that uh, why we have uh, a decline in the number of um, people coming out to vote is because of this kind of accusations and counter accusations from politicians and political parties during elections. So people no longer trust the process, they no longer trust these institutions. Are you not worried that it will take a toll on the psyche of voters? Well, I, uh, I don't think it will take a toll. All we're saying is, I next you do what is right, and once they do what is right and the people can see it, it will even encourage them to come out and vote. It will have uh, uh, a positive uh, 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 impact on the psyche of the people. Thank you. No more questions. Uh, I'd just like to thank you all for coming and also introduce a member of the campaign council, Chief Minister Abosebi Adedibu. 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 Well, uh, thank you very this is why you need to come to Ibadan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if there's any other thing we'll see outside. Thank you so much. What we'll be seeing, we'll be uh, uh, talking to yourselves. Uh,